Welcome students. Now we are going to discuss about the development of the uterus, uterine tube and the vagina or derivatives of Mullerian duct or paramesonephric duct. So, so far in the last class, we have initially in the development of the reproductive system, the mesonephric ridge is in the and the mesonephric ridge is in the medial side of the genital ridge is in the middle of 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 the of the middle of the middle of the the middle of 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 the the middle of the 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 of ductulous system of the testis then canal of epididymis vast difference in male features of patho. So, on the duct another name is na, Wolfian duct. Now, female enna na the mesonephric duct ho, mesonephric tubules ho, disappear a edition patho. Apo, female uterus uterine tube vagina development ekkan oru duct thayu paddhiliya that is the paramesonephric duct. So, by the name itself, paramesonephric, so, it is lateral to the mesonephric duct. So, at the sixth uh, week of intrauterine life, some of the coelomic epithelial cells, they are deposited on the lateral wall of the mesonephric ridge and they are going to form on another duct that is the paramesonephric duct. Initially, the paramesonephric duct, it is lateral to the mesonephric duct. At its caudal end, this paramesonephric duct, it is going to turn horizontally. So, it crosses the mesonephric duct ventrally and then it goes medial to the mesonephric duct and then it finally open into the urogenital sinus. So, we excretory system the endodermal cloaca and the endodermal cloaca is the post allantoic part of the hindgut. And the endodermal cloaca it is divided by two portions by one septum that is the urorectal septum. Now, in the endodermal cloaca it is divided ventrally as a urogenital sinus, dorsally as a primitive rectum. In the urogenital sinus, now your mesonephric duct and the paramesonephric duct both are going to open into this urogenital sinus. This is the same thing. So, initially, the paramesonephric duct vandhu, it is in its cranial length, it is open to the body cavity through one funnel shaped opening. Then, it lies lateral to the mesonephric duct. Then it crosses ventrally and goes horizontally. Then its caudal part it is going medial to the mesonephric duct. Now both the paramesonephric duct, that is paramesonephric duct is otherwise called as Mullerian duct. So both side duct no, now they are enter into this urorectal septum. So, one of the mesonephric duct one, it is directly, it is entering into the urogenital sinus and the dorsal wall up open achin path on. Yeng enna adakkudh abdi na, both duct initially they enter into the urorectal septum and they lie with adjacent with each other. So, they come in close contact with each other at the 8th week of intrauterine life. So, later on enna pannadhu, in the both side uh, paramesonophric duct may they fuse with each other and they are going to form one canal that is otherwise called as utrovaginal canal. So, before going to their fusion in the end mesonephric duct once they passes through the urorectal septum they enter into the urogenital sinus and they are going to form one elevation in the urogenital sinus as a tubercle that tubercle is otherwise called as Mullerian tubercle. If a development of urethra poi class la poi ni patena and the video la poi patena Mullerian tubercle no character solar po or the prosthetic part of urethra la as no development la the enana form panachindra and the video la pakala. So on the urethral development la poi ni other three purati pathko. Ipo the key the paramesonephric of both sides very close relation with each other and they rest in the 
urorectal septum then their caudal end enter into the urogenitals dorsal wall of the urogenital sinus and they form one bulging that bulging is otherwise called as mullerian tubercle or mullerian eminence so by the fusion of the caudal part of the both paramesonephric duct now one canal is formed that portion is otherwise called as utero vaginal canal so by the name itself utero vaginal canal nu soltom appo uterus um vagina avum inda utero vaginal canal nu develop aga podu appo uterine tube eppadi develop aagum appadina the uterine tube is developed from the the cephalic vertical part and the middle horizontal part of the paramesonephric duct so due to the crossing of this paramesonephric duct entire paramesonephric duct me moonu portion nam pirichikalam cephalic vertical part which lies lateral to the mesonephric duct and it opens cranially to the body cavity through one funnel shaped ostium then the middle horizontal part which lies ventral to the mesonephric duct and the lower or caudal vertical part which lies medial to the mesonephric duct and both side duct enter into the urorectal septum and they are going to form the uterovaginal canal now from the uterovaginal canal there is a caudal portion of the both paramesonephric duct or both mullerian duct they are going to form one central uterovaginal canal from this uterovaginal canal the major portion is going to form the uterus and the lower portion is going to form the upper 4/5 of the vagina and the cephalic part and the middle horizontal part both are going to form the fallopian tube so the once fallopian tube form ana one adanoda upper cephalic opening a funnel shaped opening that is open into the body cavity in pathinga illa that is going to form the pelvic ostium of the fallopian tube next in the pelvic ostium is surround panni the fimbriated end of the uterine tube is going to formed so after its formation uh, fallopian tube appa enga irukudu lumbar region la irukudu but due to the descent of the ovary so ipo ovary inga descent aayi vandirukku at the same time mesonephric duct in the female disappear aayiruchu melana no adanoda theva adanal adu adanoda ductule system ku persist a irukudu but in the female la enna vaayiduchu disappear aayidudhu so mesonephric duct disappear aayidhu due to the descent of the ovary in the rendu character nalayo now the fallopian tube occupies its original horizontal position so this is the development of the fallopian tube uterovaginal canal la irundhu the entire uterus is going to develop so uterus cervix idellame vande this uterovaginal canal so the entire uterovaginal canal nadu it is in the urorectal septum nu paathinga so this is the paramesonephric duct nu paathom so everything is mesoderm so the entire uterus is mesodermal in origin that is an important mcq so what about the vaginal development nu paakumbodu upper 4/5 of the vagina is developed from the uterovaginal canal so initially in the mullerian tubercle and the urogenital sinus ku la poi in the paramesonephric duct open aana piragu inga ena nadakuduna some of the urogenital some of the cells from the urogenital sinus they are migrating cranially along the uterovaginal canal and they are going to form one plate like structure that is the vaginal plate or sinovaginal bulb abdin solvanga so from this vaginal plate or sinovaginal bulb la irundhu the endothelium of the vagina is going to form so mucous membrane of the upper 4/5 of the vagina that is up to the hymen and above the hymen the mucous membrane is developed from the endoderm that is from the sinovaginal bulb what is sinovaginal bulb that is nothing but the migration of the cells from the urogenital sinus which is the endodermal in origin they are migrating towards the lower part of the uterovaginal canal and they are going to form one plate that is a vaginal plate or sinovaginal bulb then from the underlying mesenchyme la indu idoda musculature develop aayikudhu so vagina histology paathina inner a mucous membrane then middle la undu circular once again muscular layer inner circular outer longitudinal paapinga then outer adventitial layer nu paapinga so this musculature is developed from the mesenchymal origin then the part of the vagina below the hymen so appo the hymen rendu enna appadina that is a mullerian tubercle so mullerian rendu mullerian duct um vandu open a irukka and the tubercle oda 
margin one they are going to form the periphery of the hymen and the central portion is remain as a hymenal membrane then the part of the vagina below the hymen that is a lower one fifth of the vagina it is developed from the remaining portion of the urogenital sinus so that is endodermal in origin so lower one fifth of the vagina is endodermal in origin what about the external vaginal orifice abdina it is from the ectoderm ena ectodermal cloacala urogenital membrane uno form agun paapinga appra the urogenital membrane rupture aayi external vaginal orifice open agum so the vaginal development na or composite development up to the hymen varaikum or portion then below the hymen or portion external vaginal orifice or portion these are all the important thing you have to know about the development of the uterus and the uterine tube so paramesonephric duct or mullerian duct so in the male this uh, paramesonephric duct vandu yen disappear aachu appadina due to the release of anti mullerian factor which is secreted by the sertoli cells of the testis so over a character me yen nadakkudhu appo nadakkudradhukku or reason so ange sry gene testis determining factor factorna paatha maadhiri adhe idhula anti mullerian factor it is secreted by the sertoli cells adu enna panirum the paramesonephric duct va disappear aga vechirum suppose if it persists appadina that is the it is going to form some portion appendix of testis nu solittu paathirupenga in the last class la but in the female mesonephric duct or wolfian duct is going to disappear and the paramesonephric duct is persists and it is going to form the uterus uterine tube and the vagina So this is once again. This is the development of the male genital system, and this is the development of the female genital system. So this is the mesonephric duct, this is the mesonephric tubules, and this is the developing testis, and this is the paramesonephric duct. So initially the paramesonephric duct, cranially it is open to the pelvic cavity, and one cephalic vertical portion, then middle horizontal portion. then distal vertical portion this is the paramesonephric duct so after that this paramesonephric duct is disappear due to the anti mullerian factor only the mesonephric duct is going to form the ductule system so now this is the testis this is the ductule system the epididymis canal of epididymis vas deferens then seminal vesicle then ejaculatory duct but in the female this mesonephric duct is going to regress only the paramesonephric duct persists and it is going to form the uterus and the vagina uterus cervix entire vagina and the uterine tube next few words about the anomaly of the uterine development see when both side paramesonephric duct and urorectal septum ku la enter agi utero vaginal canal one form agi uterus cervix and vagina develop aachin paathu laya initially uh, both side paramesonephric duct they lie adjacent to each other then they fuse with each other so or third month of life la da vandu rendu vandu fuse aagapo suppose and the fusion nadakkala appadina enna nadakkala appadina both the uterus and cervix rendu me vandu thanithaniya form aagalam so bicornis and didelbis appdi solvanga or bicornis bicolpis or bicornis unicolpis adu uterus cervix rendume thani thaniya form a irukalam illa rendu uterus develop aagi single cervical canal avum irukalam so this is one of the anomaly then sometime enna vaagalam so septate uterus complete septum a irukalam alladhu partial septum sub septate uterus avum irukalam சம்டைம் வந்து யூனிகான்வேட் ஆர் பைகான்வேட் யூட்ரஸா இருக்கலாம் ட்ரஸ் இப்படி நிறைய யூட்ரைன் அனாமலி பாப்பீங்க காமனா வந்து செப்டேட் யூட்ரஸ் இருக்கும் சோ இந்த மாதிரியான சம் டெவலப்மென்டல் அனாமலி இருக்கும்போது தேர் இஸ் a டிஃபிகல்ட்டி ஃபார் தி டெவலப்மென்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஃபீட்டஸ் சோ அதுக்காக நாம இந்த அனாமலி பத்தி தெரிஞ்சிக்க வேண்டியது சோ சோ ஃபார் we are completing the entire reproductive system development thank you